Hello, my beautiful Vibe Drivers. Welcome to your Mystic Affirmations for Monday, January 31st, 2022. Many blessings to you all. This is our collective energy of absolute optimism for all sun, moon, and rising signs to assist us in manifesting our best possible life now using our ability to use the law of divine compensation, the law of attraction, and our power to focus our intention and manifest our best possible life starting from today. You don't, have, you don't need anything extra. You don't have to go back and find anything. You already have everything you need right here and right now as we move forward in the energy. Don't forget, you can always get a little motivational boost by watching one of my other playlists. And I have a podcast, Royal Mystic Collective Wisdom. I am available on all major podcast platforms. So anywhere you plug it in, if you just put in Royal Mystic, it should bring it up. So I hope you enjoy that. And many, many blessings. Here we go into the energy. We have Temperance and the Moon. So, the Temperance card is the Sagittarius Major Arcana. It's the energy of balance and the universe bringing in the exact right pieces to bring the best possible balance move forward for you. So, it's literally synchronicity being done by this archangel. In our standard tarot design, there's an angel holding uh, usually two cups. And she is weighing out and doing alchemy to create this synchronicity. And this is a representation in a more ma modern way of bringing in these four orbs that equal out to be the same as this one. So, and, and creating the, the, the ability to move things in all directions. Now we have the moon, which is the Pisces major arcana. And it's the energy of being very much in a place of focusing on creation. When you put your energy toward what is in the unseen and let go of the need to know exactly how it's all going to formulate and just keep focused on the end result of it actually coming to pass, that's when we manifest. So this is the energy of concentration and visualization that allows you to do that using the energy you have to create what you want to bring to your life. Here we go. Let's see what the rest of the reading has to say. Thank you, angels, archangels, divine, pure, white light. King of wands, divine spirit, spirit guides, gods and goddesses. Thank you so much for being present here to allow all sun, moon and rising signs to have the information they seek to assist them in remaining on their highest possible spiritual path. We thank you so much, Divine, for these blessings and beautiful messages, and we receive them in the love and light for which they are intended. We thank you for this divine guidance as always, and we welcome this blessed energy. Thank you so much, Divine. You are always welcome and very appreciated. So we have the Knight of Rods. He's been pretty consistent in his readings, and he's always about action. It's either you being the leader or being hired under someone else who's going to lead you in this very dynamic energy. It can also be entrepreneurial energy and the energy of a new job. This card just jumped out. So we have the five of cups and I'll talk about that when we get into this portion. And the underlier. Oh, nice. The hanged woman, our Cirque du Soleil fabuloso here with her fiery red hair. So I like that it's kind of an orangey color because orange is your sacral chakra color and that's the energy of creativity and creation. Okay, so we're in the energy of abundance and creation and all this beautiful looking at things in a new way. That's why she's up in that position. It is her crown chakra. So allowing yourself to be connected to the energies within you that help you to inspire and create new things. That's the, the way this should be looked at in the bigger picture format. Not just in our limited little moment here. Just think about the grander scale. We have receptivity. Being receptive is very important. I, oh, I am open in my mind and heart or heart and mind, you know I like to reverse stuff. I am open in my heart and mind to receiving the blessings that I deserve and remembering that you do deserve it simply because you're here to be this receptive person. You're receptive in the energy because this energy is going to come toward you when you start to concentrate on manifesting your best possible life. When you can allow yourself to do that and feel deserving of it, that's when you will equal it's, it's 
vibration. If you feel like you don't deserve your blessings, if you feel somehow less than or that you have some kind of of secret or something that you've done, it doesn't matter what you've done wrong. You are just as deserving as anyone else. So I know that sounds, you know, people people who look at other people's lives and start judging. This is not what that's about. This is about knowing who you are within yourself. And even if you have done wrong things, we all have to certain degrees, some more than others. Still, forgiveness is available and you can let yourself off the hook. So be receptive to being deserving. Understand that's also part of this whole task in this lifetime. Understanding that you deserve all good things and good fortune. The universe provides me and my family with prospects for good fortune. This is absolutely true. Being in the energy of connecting to source and believing for that will bring it to you. It will come to pass. As long as you're in a place of believing, it's possible. That's why it's important to know that you, just like everyone else, has our own road to hoe. However, we deserve all good things that come to us. No need to worry. There you go. Straight from the angels. This is the Angel Answers Oracle deck. And here we go into our sacred geometry activations. Divine Masculine. So anytime you see the, the angles and the straight lines, that's considered masculine energy. That's why when we talk about somebody who is trying to make everything logical and everything go from A to B in a straight line, linear thinking, that's never going to work when you're manifesting miracles, right? So the masculine requires to be focused and to be in a place of activation, allowing the the energy to form because masculine means moving forward and you know getting it done the reaching energy out into the universe so here's what this says the frequency of divine masculine supports our strong focused and active side allowing it to express itself while helping us to bring our dreams and ideas into form with kindness and wisdom. So logic has its own purpose as to build something and you have to be in a place of following dimensions and things like that. However, we if you're not the one designing it, if you're not the architect of the project, you don't have to subscribe to the linear logic when you're manifesting it. I, I want to get that straight. Manifesting it is just the energy of pushing forward and knowing that the universe has what you need and then being in a place where you attract that to you. When we talk about the divine masculine in helping us to, to be active in spirit, it's the energy of being very strong in activity because doing is considered masculine, being in movement. Now, it gets off into all kinds of other stuff, but this is the geometry of it. I have the perfect living space. I see myself living in a wonderful place. It fulfills all my needs and desires. It's in a beautiful location and at a price I can afford. This was the manifesting card I just recently pulled out of one of my shiffer robe sliding closet doors. It had slid down inside, you know, between the shelf and the wall. And this is what I used to manifest my house. And I finally got it back into the deck because this I actually literally had this inside something I was looking at every day. I have the perfect living space. I see myself living in a wonderful place. It fulfills all my needs and desires. It's in a beautiful location and at a price I can afford. Absolutely. Receive that and a wonderful energy of that. Absolutely. Let's see what else we've got going. I know that rings true with a lot of people. We've got, I'm going to go one more time because we keep getting that one. See what else the universe has to say. Each age has its own special joys and experiences. I am always the perfect age for where I am in life. I am at peace with my age. 
Each age has its own special joys and experiences. I am always the perfect age for where I am in life. I am at peace with my age. This is all a process of, of growing, growing through life with all the trials and tribulations that come with it. And age has less to do with the actual process than it does with our ability to uh, discern things and be, uh, take action in different ways as we grow older and more mature in the process. Five of Cups is the energy of moving forward with the optimism of having a clean slate in these two new cups. These cups, these are the sun is setting on these cups, so they are no longer viable. But these two have a whole new, this is the sunset and the pending dawn. So while we're in this place where the, there's nothing in the sky and we're able to form something new, that's what these two are for. Moving forward with these two, setting out in a new direction without anything in front of you and creating it from that. Letting the old go with that five of cups. Now, hello, Elvira Knievel rides again. And for those of you who don't know what I'm talking about, there used to be a guy named Evil Knievel back in my day that was super califragilistic and he used to jump over things like the Grand Canyon and all kinds of stuff. So I call her Elvira Knievel because she's just going for it, flying in the air, rainbow exhaust pipe going on the Sphinx. Just she's having looks like the time of her life. I, I wouldn't mind trying that out if it was viable. So that's the energy of success. This is coming through the challenge way over the top, surpassing anything that's trying to block you, being in a place of upgrade and fantastic energy. This is the Cancer Major Arcana of the Chariot, and it's very fast moving, so it does mean it's on its way. And then we have the Eight of Pentacles, and the Eight of Pentacles is the Apprentice card. This is where we learn a new skill or we learn a new ability to use, or use and express our creativity. Also being in a place of allowing yourself to, to move in the energy as you're being guided and to learn whatever shows up. Let yourself participate in all things, even if it's just watercolors. Let yourself do it. Do it with markers. I've got all these little coloring books and things, the Zentangle books and all of that. You should do whatever attracts you because sometimes, say for example, I don't know about y'all, but I love Sudoku and it lets my mind un unclutter itself because for some reason the numbers don't carry emotion for me. And so it lets me kind of drop down if I'm too antsy pantsy about something or too upset. It lets me focus on something that just takes me out of the, the chaos in my mind. I don't know why it works for me, but that's my thing. And, and then I come out of it feeling much better and I can think clearly. So I just want you all to have the thing that makes you able to let go of what's unnecessary and plug into to what you want to and allow yourself to enjoy your life because this is very great energy for this Monday as we are about to bestow ourselves with the wonderful ending of this month and move right on into February tomorrow. So I will see you guys then. Many blessings to you all. Have a beautiful day. Namaste.